Hello. Okay, so this is a bit of a correction video slash more rigorous process of going through the maths uh, because in the last uh, video and in fact really in the last two videos I made a bit of a maths mistake. So uh, Daniel and I were making a Pong game um, as a bit of an exercise for our sort of game dev training um, coaching thing. And so what we had is we had, you know, a paddle and a ball, and we wanted to do collision detection on these shapes. And I sort of just went, um, you know what, you can do this if you take a Minkowski sum. And what I said was like, you know, we've got, let's say, you know, the origin of these shapes is here and here. And I was like, well, you can grab that vector and that vector is like a cheap way of getting the sum. Um, and what you end up with is, you know, you've got the original shape of like, we'll call this one A, and we'll call this shape B. You've got the original shape of A and we add onto it. So we've got um, the vector A and we're going to add on the vector B. And that's equivalent to like um, taking B and like sticking it everywhere, like sweeping it around the shape like this and like this and, you know, and, and, and at all sort of points in the shape, you know, like this. And what happens is you end up getting a shape that's the sum of A and B. And this is what we call um, A plus B. And this is what we call Minkowski addition. And what it actually is, like that's not exactly, it's not exactly a sweeping process, although I guess it's equivalent. But what it is, is you take every possible vector. So this red vector here, and this vector here, and this vector here, and this vector here, and this vector here, and all of the vectors you can stick in A, and you add them onto all of the vectors you can stick into B. <clears throat> And if you add all of these vectors in A and B, you get this combined shape. And what I was saying is that you could do with this is that um, say you have A and B are colliding like this. So we've got A here and we've got, let's do B in this color here. A and B are colliding. Um, you know, you can just do an axis aligned bounding box test to check uh, if that's a collision there. But what you can also do is you can um, take, take A like this and do the sum we did before. So we end up with this sort of A plus B shape like this. And then, you know, we, we had this shape in here and it was colliding, but maybe we had like another shape, uh, we'll do it orange, um, out here and it's not colliding. And what you find is the origin of these shapes. So this origin here and this origin here, the one that is colliding is inside this, uh, combined bounding box is sort of a plus B bounding box. And this one is outside. And so that tells you that it's colliding. So you've converted this, um, this method of doing it, which is an axis aligned bounding box test, um, to a bounding box versus point test. And this is all well and good, except, except there's one significant error here. And that that is the, um, this is wrong. This is not right because what you're supposed to do is take the inverse of B here. So what it's supposed to be is you're supposed to take uh, a shape that is a plus the inverse of B. 
and you still get because you know the shape that I was using happens to have bilat bilateral symmetry, which means you know it's reflects reflect uh, reflectable on both the x and y axis. So you know if there's a vector say here, there's an equivalent vector here. If there's a vector you know to that corner, there's an equivalent vector to that corner. So when you add up all of the vectors in this shape, you know, what ends up happening is a plus the inverse of b equals a plus b. In uh, this specific case that we're doing here, because um, it's bilaterally uh, symmetrical. So that was the that was like the maths error. So this the thing is that this only applies if uh, B has bilateral symmetry. So what happened was, you know, I neglected, I, I forgot about this completely. And so Daniel went and did basically what I told him. Um, uh, not that transparent layer, let's have a new layer. Or, or, or not even, not, I don't think Daniel even did this. He actually got most of the way to the right solution that I'm gonna describe here. Um, but you know, he created shapes that we then discussed and I got wrong on, on the video, which didn't have their origin in the center, um, but actually had their origins up in the top uh, left-hand corner. So, you know, you've got your paddle and you've got your ball. And of course, when you add these shapes, what happens is you get, um, you know, this shape here. And of course, that doesn't work because um, let's let's draw out the diagram again. Do, 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 do. Here's our inner shape, and we use the same colors. So we've got um, this here, and then say we have you know there's our paddle. Here's our ball. It's here. It's colliding, obviously, but it doesn't work because we've just done A plus B, which, as, as I said, is wrong. So what we need to do is A plus the inverse of B, um, which looks like this. So we've got this is, this, is, um, this is B, then the inverse of B is you know, this. Okay, so let's see what this means then is that you end up um, with a shape that looks like this. So we've got our original shape with its origin here and we wanna add you know, A plus inverse B. And so we're adding on you know, this shape here, which is also you know, from here, it's like this shape here and like any old point in here, it's like this shape here. And you get, um, at the other end, you get the shape that looks like this. And then all of a sudden, if you've got, you know, a point here, say, that is, you know, colliding, this um, point versus, you know, we've got, we've got a collision here, this point versus bounding box test, uh, the pink versus the orange, will result in the correct correct answer. Now you'd think I'd know this, like it's it's not because I don't know this that I got this wrong on stream. Like um, you know, when I was doing the video for River City Ransom Underground, we talked about um, you know we've got a roof perhaps. and you know a floor and i talked about how we had a character that looks like this and i'm almost sure that you know on the thing so this character's origin is the bottom center i'm almost sure that what i talked about was then we add 
onto this, we take the pink one is going to be A in this process. We're going to add on uh, this one, which I'm going to make blue like this B. We add on the inverse, so plus the inverse of B. Um, you know, we get like, you know, we have a point here and that goes down to there. And we have one here and that goes down all the way down to there. And whereas we have one here, it goes along here, down there, and so on. We get a, um, you know, a, basically a hole that looks like this. It's like, comes out there, goes up there. Whereas here, it's like travels along the ground there, but comes down here and it's gonna, um, so yeah, it comes out here. Let's fix, let's fix the diagram. Um, comes up here and goes along there. So all of the points in this space, I'm gonna do in like very light green, all of the points in this space here are areas where the character can walk. So if I then grab my character and stick him like here, he fits in, you know, no problem. And, you know, if I stick him here, he fits in no problem because, you know, he's going into this hole, but he's not uh, colliding with the ceiling. So um, the other thing I want to say is, so this is Minkowski addition. This A plus negative B, and I only actually learned this today because uh, I checked the Wikipedia article to make sure I had all my terminology and maths correct, is not equal to, um, sorry, it's not equal to A minus B. Uh, so if I have, um, I think what it is, is if I have, you know, my paddle A and my ball and I'm, I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to make sure these all have origins in the center. Um, that's, that's my origin. Now this is my origin. I'm going to draw the ball B around here. If that's A and that's B, then A minus B is actually uh, different. It is, you know, we've got the original here. And I got my ball, you know, it's sweeping out like that there and that there. And, you know, it's, it's sweeping all around sort of the, um, the exterior space, like this area here is kind of what's happening. And what ends up happening is you get the sort of difference. It's subtracted. It ends up being this area here inside. So that's, that's just subtraction. So that's Minkowski subtraction, which, or Minkowski difference, which is different. That is different to adding the inverse. So that's quite an important distinction. So uh, let's add on a little bit more. Um, so let's talk about how we do this in a sort of more rigorous mathematical sense. So we'll start with, um, so the way, the way that I like to do these things is, you know, we've got an object which has an origin. So, you know, this, this is the origin here. That's, you know, zero comma, comma zero. This is, this is another object and, you know, it's also at zero, zero. So it's important to make the distinction that these two diagrams are not in the same location. Um, and so the way I like to do it is, so basically what I'm saying is if I draw these diagrams on the same, in the same space, you know, they actually overlap is what I'm saying. 
it's quite quite important distinction there so that's what we're doing um, so the way that I like to do this is to use this mechanism and then like add these add, add the inverse so this is going to be a plus invert B that's going to be you know the original plus the inverse of B which gives me lots of lovely colors it's going to give me this shape here around this origin and what I can then do is that I can take this shape and I can translate it and I can take you know my collision point you know uh, let's go blue um, you know if I want to test collision against like here with my point, you know, I can, I can test, I, I, I can shift, you know, I can say, all right, now this is my world space. This is, this is the game world. I can say, well, I want to stick, you know, my collider is off here somewhere. And the thing coming to collide it, you know, is here, you know, so I've got a vector, which is, um, I'll do both of them. So I have this vector here. This is like the translation of A. Let's make it readable. And then I have, you know, this vector here is the translation of B. And so I can, um, I can use this, I can, I can add these together, but, um, there's another way of doing this. And that is to say, Let's, let's just all, always operate in this world space. So what does that look like? Um, you know, we, in fact, let's, let's uh, make, make our lives easy. Let's copy this diagram. Oops, uh, no, I wanted to copy, thanks. Okay, so let's grab this one and just pop it onto this new layer. Okay, so, um, let's say that we have, this is like our object A. Um, so we, we had, we had our object A before, sorry. So this object here then becomes T, the transformation of A plus A. And then, um, Go a nice darker blue here. This here becomes the um, transformation of B plus B. And so what B and A represent here, because we're talking Minkowski, we're talking basically the set of all of the points, like every single point in here. So this is a set. And so if we want to detect a collision, like this collision here, uh, what we want to do is we want to say um, that there exists, let's do this in nice black, uh, there exists a point uh, in the transformation of A plus the transformation, uh, plus, sorry, plus the set of all points in A that equals the transformation of B plus all the points in B. So we're working entirely in world space. We've got, you know, we've got our orange shape here, which is this one here. And we've got our dark blue shape here. Sorry, I've got that backwards. We have our dark blue shape here. That's that one. That's that one. And we have our orange shape here. And so there exists a point such that uh, they overlap. So from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to do some algebra on this and work backwards. Now, uh, it's important, and you'll notice I chucked a quick edit in there because we need to remember that A minus B is not the same thing 
as a plus the inverse of b. Um, so I actually got myself a bit confused and had to go and back and try this again. So <coughs> um, what you can do from here is you can say, and be very careful about how you do the algebra, we can gonna throw these things across the other side and say that T A plus all of the points in A, uh, there exists for um, T A plus all of the points in A minus T B plus the inverse of B equals zero. Um, <clears throat> And what this uh, converts to, um, like you can arrange this like so, so uh, T A minus T B plus A plus minus B or inverse B equals zero. And so what this is saying, uh, let's, let's stay on this layer. <clears throat> is let's zoom in, let's zoom in and say we have, you know, a shape here. We'll keep using our colors. We have a shape here and a shape here. Uh, what this first one is saying is that there exists some point in both of these that's the same. What this one is saying is almost the same thing, um, and this one, is that there exists a point such that if you take a vector, say here, you know, some vector into the A shape, so we'll call it A, and some vector into the B shape. I don't know, vectors should probably start at the origin. B. So if you have two vectors, um, one in A and one in B, there's going to be a vector. And so we have like, you know, this is the, uh, this is A minus B is like this vector here, for example, there exists a vector such as this one here. where you know there's there's a vector into b and there's a vector into a and if you subtract those both you get you know the vector zero comma zero um you know because there's no distance in between those so that's what they're saying um so that's the same way of writing that so from there what we can do is we can go back up a layer um, and start looking at this mechanism, uh, this way of way of calculating it, which is a bit easier. Oops. Um, and the reason it's a bit easier is because you can generate, you know, this shape here, this. Sorry, technical problem. Okay, so you can generate this shape here and just stamp it down by moving it around with the you know two transformations. Um, so what that one's saying is basically uh, we had um, you know there exists a shape T A plus um, A minus t b plus the inverse of b equals zero. That's what we had on the previous uh, sort of slide. So what this one is saying here is that there exists a point um, such that t a plus a plus the inverse of b equals, and we're basically we're just pulling this one back onto the other side, equals the transform of B. And so 
then we have you know this shape here we'll, we'll make it pink we have this shape here is the one we're stamping down and we just have to you know stamp it down basically with this transform and see if that is inside the transformed version uh, so I find that one a little bit easier to do because you know this ends up being you know I have a bounding box and um, you know maybe it's maybe it's just a size like this as we were doing or it could be um, like I was doing before like a half size and um, you know we've generated this by adding uh, you know a and b shapes um, or the inverse of b here we've generated this uh, shape um, so I guess it's probably going to be like that really or that and we're going to take it and we're going to transform it over by transform a to get a shape that you know exists over here and we're just asking you know is this point or this point inside and this because it's you know this bounding box um, is is um, sort of very easy to do a check against like do, do a is is a point inside this bounding box check uh, I find that this is the easiest way of doing it. So we've we've used Minkowski to add two shapes together and check if um, a point is inside to get the equivalent of checking if two bounding boxes overlap. Um, and so the point of all of that is, um, you know, it depend it depends what you're doing. Um, we have like a situation like this, maybe where we're doing a fill, um, because you know, as, as I mentioned, like this, this was on a pixel grid, and we actually took, um, you know, where is the level, and then did a did a kind of filling operation to um, say that you know that's the out of bounds area for a object that's like player sized um, that can be easy but there can be other cases like if you've got a shape that's like um, you know squiggly and you're trying to collide it against a shape that's like you know that's not a particularly easy operation like because um, because you add that together or you add that and the inverse of that together and you get, you know, just, I'm not sure I even want to go sit around and figure out what the shape is, but you end up like with that. And depending on how easy, like what operations you have available, I guess, if you can do this operation and this operation, then checking if a point is inside or outside, this can actually be acceptable. But there are other ways to do this that might be easier that, you know, I'll go into in a, in a future episode. So hopefully that all made sense. So the point was, you know, this was wrong layer. <clears throat> the point was that, you know, this was wrong. And, uh, you know, this, this is right. And this only worked for me because I was working on shapes with bilateral symmetry where this held true so once you, once you get once you remember to do this um, inverse then the whole process becomes very simple um, oh yeah, so I was gonna say you know if you have uh, you know this this set of shapes is not particularly easy to deal with but for instance um, you know, it may be the case that you might have, say, a circular ball and a paddle. And so if you add, you know, you have that as a radius, this one's bilaterally symmetrical. So we can, we can el elide the inversion of, you know, if this is our B, we can elide doing, you know, B equals the inverse of B 
in this case. And then all we have to do is just stick our ball in, you know, every single place on here, which gives us a hole like this. And, you know, usually this might not be a particularly efficient way to do it because, you know, you have to sort of start checking against, you know, quarter circles and stuff, which is just painful. But the, the idea still works, you know, if you're outside here, still, still not colliding, whereas if you're inside this, this uh, added region, you know, you are actually colliding, you know, here. So hopefully that all made sense. Um, hopefully we sorted out that mass error. Um, basically the important thing to, important thing to recognize is, you know, when, when we say, you know, this B and this B here is we're not talking so much about um, a, a single vector or a single point, but a, um, a set of points. Um, so, you know, every point in this space, which, you know, depends on the operation, like for a bounding box, you know, you can take the minimum and maximum extents and, you know, another one, you take the minimum and maximum extents, uh, minimum and maximum extents in a, I guess I should say, you know, we're working in this coordinate system apparently, uh, which is fine. And you add all those together and you can get, you know, a, a combined shape that's um, bigger. I, I, think I've, I think I've repeated that enough. So uh, thank you everyone for watching, uh, particularly Daniel, because I know he'll be watching this and being like, oh yeah, I, that now makes a whole lot of sense, I hope. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.